Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to another 49ers weekly news recap. I'm going to be talking about obviously what's been going on the past week and I'm going to give, be giving you my thoughts and prediction for the uh, preseason game against the Chiefs which is on later tonight. Uh, so let's just recap on what's been going on with the team. So obviously early on in the week it was announced that uh, we lost uh, linebacker Malcolm Smith. Uh, I mentioned that in my last video, he's out for the season with a torn pec which sucks. Uh, just going to say I hope the guy gets better soon and hopefully he comes back next year. Uh, much stronger. According to the Sacramento B, QB Brian Hoyer has looked very sharp in training camp so far. I should imagine so because most of his highlights have come against the second team defense. So if he wasn't looking sharp against them, then we would be in some serious trouble. So uh, good, but like I said, it's against the second team defense most of it. So uh, I'm not going to read too much into that. But he's Brian Hoyer. I, I can't, you know, it's, it's Brian Hoyer. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, on to Tuesday, I'm sure some of you heard uh, that linebacker uh, Donovan Newsom uh, avoided neck, uh, fractures to his neck uh, but, uh, but has been diagnosed with a concussion. Um, yeah, he collided with a teammate and was just out cold, uh, stretched off, took, to an, uh, took away in an ambulance. Scary by the sounds of it. Uh, but yeah, all good signs. Yeah, he's moving. Um, he had movement in his hands and his feet and uh, I think he's back with the team now, like I said this was Tudy so I think he's back with the team now so yeah that's good to hear I'm glad uh, I'm glad he didn't suffer any severe injuries. Kyle Shanahan hopes offensive guard Joshua Garnett will be ready for week one. Mm, I doubt it. Um, he's undergoing obviously a knee scope which typically comes with a three to four week recovery period so it's touch and go with regards whether or not he'll play or not. I personally don't think he'll be ready for week one. Um, but if not, then obviously it's going to be between Zane Beatles and Brandon Fusco to take over that guard, uh, that guard job. So uh, either one, Zane Beatles or Brandon Fusco, I'll be happy with, I'll be happy with either one. Uh, so as long as we get Joshua Garnett back healthy, we don't rush him back, I'm happy. I'm happy either way. On Wednesday, uh, the 49ers announced that cornerback Dante Johnson is in the league's concussion protocol, which uh, protocol which which sucks. Uh, but hopefully, you know, he gets he comes back better. Uh, and obviously, we released Jeremy Zuta, which was a shock after I did the uh, the depth chart thing, and I was saying how Kilgore is, is ahead of Zuta, which is a bit weird. But now I understand why Zuta is gone, which can only tell me one thing: Daniel Kilgore is killing it at centre. So. Fair play to him. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see how he performs. I mean, obviously we've had him for about two, three years now. He's been okay, but he hasn't been an elite level centre. But if he's if he's good enough to to get Jeremy Zuta released from the team, then hey, we could be having a Pro Bowl centre, uh, a Pro Bowl season from him. So let's wait and see. Uh, but yeah, and that pretty much wraps up the news. Now on to the preseason game. So the game against the Chiefs, uh, I mean, two things I want I want to see, I want to see happen, really. One, I want us to win, always and obviously. Uh, two, I don't want to lose anyone to injury, I really don't. Um, obviously we've lost, like I said, we lost uh, Malcolm Smith before we even played the game, uh, Garnett injured, so I don't want to lose any key players, that is important, especially Foster. Obviously, now we're going to get a true test to see how his shoulder is. You know, obviously, training camp speed and game speed are two different things. So, yeah, let's see Let's see how that shoulder holds up. I think this is a good test for Foster to see how his shoulder holds up. Uh, the game itself, what I'm uh, predicting to happen, or in terms of score-wise, obviously, I reckon we'll win. I'm going to go for a score of 24-20 to the Niners. So, yeah, no injuries. And obviously an Anna win. Now that's a uh, twenty-four to twenty. That's what I want to see. Um, I'm not gonna try. What I was gonna say was tomorrow I'm gonna upload a short video of my reaction to the game because obviously the game kicks off over here at uh, two o'clock in the morning. I did say three o'clock last time. It's actually two o'clock. Uh, so yeah, two a.m. kick off over here. I'm not staying awake all night to watch a preseason game. Sorry, it, it just ain't happening. So I get up Saturday morning, watch as much highlights as I can. And then just upload a quick video of my thoughts and reactions to, to the to the game. So, uh, yeah, sorry I can't bring you a, a proper thoughts and reaction video to it. But, um, like I said, it's a pre-season. I'm not staying away for a night. Uh, I'm, I'm just not, that's just not happening. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but, yeah, no injuries. Niners win. Can't wait. Cannot wait. So, pre-season's finally upon us. I hope anyone who's watching the game enjoys, enjoys the game. Um, 
And yeah, let's just see, let's just see what happens. Football is finally upon us. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the news. Um, like I said, anything I missed out, leave a comment. What are your thoughts on the game? Who do you want to see perform? Uh, obviously, Ruben Foster and Solomon Thomas are the main two. Uh, but if there's anyone else, be sure to leave a comment. Um, yeah, tom like I said, tomorrow I'll upload. I go up early and upload that. So um, until then, guys, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.